savings are endless at Bob's Discount Furniture. With 6, 12, 30, and 60-month financing options and new everyday low prices to make shopping my highly rated living rooms, best-selling bedrooms, and stylish dining sets even more fun. Not to mention my world-famous Bobopedic mattresses with yummy treats in my cafes with cookies, coffee, and ice cream for the whole family. And great candy, too. Great indeed, Balloon Bob. Soak up the savings and store her online because the sun never sets on Bob's Discount. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., a big change in the investigation into the string of fires in Long Beach. Why police are once again looking for an arsonist. Plus, with gun salutes and tolling bells, Britain marking the first anniversary of the death of Queen Elizabeth II and the ascension of King Charles III. And to boldly go where no man has ever gone before, generations of Star Trek supporters or fans are coming together to join the SAG after picket lines. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm John Gregory. And I'm Leslie Sykes. Rachel Brown is m off today. And let's go on over to Leslie Lopez with the forecast. Hot and humid, Les. Yeah, she's in Hawaii. <laughs> Lucky. I like to tell everybody. Instagram told me. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, she's having a great time. It's really fun. Over in downtown Los Angeles for around 86 degrees. Talk about hot and humid. I mean, we're going to really deal with some hot and humid weather as we get back into your weekend. It's not only going to be 100 and maybe 5 degrees in some of our Inland Empire locations. Throw in some humidity. It's going to get really uncomfortable. We are starting it off today. Today, we're back to 87 degrees in Inland Orange County. Inland Empire Valley communities. We're back to 97. We have more to go. Yes, it's going to get hotter. The beach is about 78, mountain 75, the high deserts just about 95 degrees. And I'll finally let you know when we get a break from all of the hot weather, but let's just say it's going to be a big turnaround from hot to below average. I'll show you what day that happens. John and Leslie, over to you. All right, Leslie, thank you. And about face for the Long Beach Police Department, one day after announcing a major arrest. Five arson fires have occurred. that uh, arsonist is still on the loose this morning. Now, five arson fires have occurred in the last two weeks. Three of those were started in the parking structure of the Camden Harbor View Apartments. Now, arson incidents have been increasing in Long Beach in past years. The number of arsons back in 2014 and 2015 was around five per month. Now, it's averaging over 14 a month. We spoke to one resident who lost her Chevy Silverado in those flames. She's attending nursing school and working part-time as a paramedic. She tells us it it will not be easy to replace the car. Me and my partner were just like heartbroken trying to figure out like what the next, next steps are and you know money doesn't grow on trees so we're trying to figure out the financial situation that we're in. Now, this is the highest number of incidents that the city of Long Beach has seen in the past decade. Of course, now police are reminding the public to stay alert, especially in this area with that arsonist still on the loose. In Long Beach, Shayla Gerard and ABC7 Eyewitness News. Shayla, thank you very much. The search continues this morning for the suspect in a deadly stabbing on a metro train. The 23-year-old victim was found at the Pershing Square station in downtown L.A. last night. Police say the victim and another man got into an argument on the train and that the other man pulled out a knife and stabbed him. The suspect ran from the scene. The victim died after being taken to the hospital. Metro says that it is committed to providing a secure environment for riders and is asking anyone with information to come forward. Well, new this morning, the Orange Unified School District has passed a new transgender notification policy. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. <laughs> The vote followed a heated late night meeting. The policy requires schools to notify the parents of children under the age of 12 if their child identifies as transgender. Parents would also be notified if their child asked to be called by a name different from their legal name or if they use pronouns that don't align with their gender at birth. If the child's over 12, it will be up to a school counselor to decide if notifying the parents is appropriate. Actor Danny Masterson sentenced to 30 years to life in prison following his conviction for raping two women at his Hollywood Hills home. The star of that 70s show receiving the maximum sentence in a downtown L.A. courtroom in his retrial. The sentence handed down following victims' impact statement.